Hello everyone, I'm Shane Roberts, one of the developers for Titanic Voyage, and today we're going to be showing off the enhancements we've made to the lifeboat system for Titanic Voyage 2021. Now, if you've been with us for a few years, you probably know that last year, Titanic Voyage 2020, we added an overhaul to the lifeboat system, and that overhaul was intended to make the survival rates for each lifeboat a little more historically accurate rather than just being completely random as they were before by means of taking your age, gender, and class and determining based on that for every lifeboat on board a certain survival rate and then randomly choosing people based on that survival rate. And all in all, we heard that this system was better than what we had before, but people still thought that it could be further improved. And we thought so as well, honestly, ourselves. And some of the key feedback we'd kept hearing was that this system was a little unfair insofar as it hid a lot of the information from the player. You didn't actually know what your odds of surviving on any lifeboat were. So you might have been waiting for lifeboats, hoping to get on with it when in actuality you had basically no chance of getting on it. And another thing was that the system still took away from the element of role play players felt like they were still just sitting around waiting for those magical prompts to get on lifeboats rather than actually playing out the sinking. So we hope to address that with these changes. And for this example, we've got three characters here. They're all men. We've got Mr. First Class, Mr. Second Class, and Mr. Third Class. So based on their different classes here, they'll obviously have very different odds at boarding these lifeboats. So Let's go ahead and see exactly what those odds are. So this is the new lifeboat panel. And there's a lot of information here, so let's try and break it down quickly. We've got the lifeboat number up top. You can see your survival rate for your character type, male first class passenger. That's what I am. So I got a 40% chance of boarding lifeboat 5 and uh, ooh, barely any chance of boarding lifeboat 7. We can see the number of people currently waiting in the queue and our boarding chance at boarding that lifeboat based on that. Here we can see when the queue is actually going to open up. Lifeboat 7's queue actually is already open. And we can see when the lifeboat will actually take on passengers. None of them are boarding yet. So we're all going to go ahead and queue up for, the, for boat 7 here. I'm going to go ahead and get second and third class queued up. So there we go. Second and third class are queued up. And as you can see, the boarding chance has actually changed. Now I have a 0.02% chance of boarding. I'm going to go ahead and enter the queue as well, and we'll see how lucky I get. Honestly, this doesn't seem that good to me. Um, very bad odds. But boat five's also open now, so I'm going to go ahead and queue up for that as well. Now, one interesting thing about this system is that after we have queued up for these boats, we can actually still move around. So I can go and kind of scout out the boat deck later. So, see, we've got much better odds of boarding these boats back here, and they board in about 50 minutes. So I might make a mental note to come back here later in the sinking. What about the other side of the deck? Hmm, not really good odds here. I don't think I would choose to go for these boats, personally. I'm going to go back toward boat 7 now because I think it should be boarding really shortly and I want to see what happens. So we're waiting for boat 7 now and it should take on passengers very shortly. You can see the timer is ticking down here. And one of the nice things about this system is that you can really visually see all the information you need about the boat. We know exactly when this queue will close, and then what's going to happen, as you'll see, is it's going to choose who boards the boat. Okay, so look at that. Mr. Second Class has received an invitation to board Lifeboat 7. Now what could happen is Mr. Second Class might say, oh, I've changed my mind, I don't want to board. And they've got an option to say, yes, I'll board, or no, I don't want to. He's going to say no. Now we can see that that invitation has gone to Mr. Third Class. 
Mr. Third Class is also going to say no. And oh my god, we've gotten lucky. Now we've gotten an invitation to board Lifeboat 7. And we only have a little bit of time to make our final decision. We're going to choose to board, though. And now, having chosen to board this lifeboat, it'll tell you that you're going to automatically be transferred to the lifeboat in a set amount of time. And you can see that counting down. So what this means is now I've got time to say my goodbyes. Thank you, Mr. Second Class and Mr. Third Class. I hope you have luck on another boat. So you'll get to role play your goodbyes. And as you can see, you've got this life preserver icon to indicate that you're going to be boarding a lifeboat. So in the chat, as you know, it can get very cluttered during the sinking. You'll actually be able to visually see all of this information. And at this point, I could still go anywhere I want on the ship. I don't need to stay around near the lifeboat. Obviously, you're probably going to be staying there saying goodbyes, but we could still go around and check out the other lifeboats. I don't know why I would need to since we're about to board, but if you have other characters, of course, you can still go around and try and get them on different lifeboats. But we still always will see when we're going to transfer to lifeboat 14, and it should, no matter where we are on the ship, when that timer counts down, pull us into the lifeboat. So that should be happening any moment now. And there we go. And now we're in lifeboat 7, and we've been saved. And that's the basic rundown of this system. What it ultimately allows for is you have all the information about that lifeboat right in front of you. You'll get to see your exact chances of boarding that lifeboat, however high or slim they may be. You'll be able to see this countdown to when the decision will be made as to who can board that lifeboat. Then you'll have the pop-up. You can say, yes, I want to stay. Or, or no, I mean, you can say, yes, I want to board the lifeboat, or no, I'd rather stay. And then based on that, it'll continue sending these invitations out until it's got all the people who can board the boat boarding the boat. And then when the time comes, it will pull all those people onto the boat after they've said their goodbyes. So really, in terms of the system, I could just keep role-playing the whole syncing, and all I need to focus on is clicking Enter Boarding Queue, and then if I ever see a prompt pop up, choosing yes or no, and that's it. The rest of the syncing, I can just focus on role play. I can even scout out the entire deck, see my survival odds, choose really early on what lifeboats I'm going to go for, and plan out my entire course of the syncing, and then just focus purely on role playing around those boats. So I think this system should bring a whole lot of freedom and flexibility to players. We're really excited to see it in action. And I can't wait to see who survives and who dies in this year's voyage. Thank you, everybody. And we'll be potentially having a live stream showing some of this off and answering questions about this new system. We'll also have some accompanying posts helping to further clarify information about it. Please, if you're confused, if there's anything you don't understand from what I said, ask us. We're here to help you understand this system and to make it as fair as it can possibly be. We want this to be open and transparent. We want everyone to know exactly how it works. And we want everyone to be very comfortable come April 14th when we all encounter the sinking of this ship. So I look forward to seeing you then. Feel free to ask any questions. And thank you for playing our game as always.